wife, Harry, Talia, and Monica. Appreciate y'all being here. We've got a water department on this side, and, and it's all on them because they keep it up and running. Know this, but uh, this is really a big deal for Crossgates and the west side of Brandon. Over here to our left, we've got a 1,000 GPM well we're bringing online. Uh, the, there are three wells on this side of town that are approximately 50 years old. And you run the fear, if you'd ever lost one of those wells, you would be in a pickle. Uh, you'd be in a pickle both providing drinking water to all the residents and businesses, the hospital, the nursing homes, every bit of that on this side of town. Uh, so this is really a glorious day. It takes a lot of pressure off of our water system so that we now can rehab some of our older wells and move forward with that. And we certainly appreciate the city of Brandon and, uh, and, and their investment in this water system. What we have is a thousand gallon per minute well, uh, a building that houses all of the electrical controls and chemical feed equipment for the new well as well as the old existing well. We've got an emergency generator that's capable of, of providing emergency power for both ways. It took us a, two years to reach this point in time. So by, uh, we went back and looked. Matthew was kind enough to go back in time. We began the loan process with an SRF loan two years ago. That's how long it's taken to reach this point in time to get this well operational. Um, but it's the process of going through the Department of Health, uh, SRF loan, you've got all the checks and balances you got to accommodate with the state and the federal government to get that money in here. So 1.95% money loaned to us. Very important upgrade for our water system. Now this is step one of really about a 12-step process. We'll begin probably construction next spring on a new 500,000 gallon tank over here on Burnham Road. Uh, as that is going on, we'll begin construction on another 500,000 gallon tank on North Street, on that side of town. Uh, when this water uh, tank comes online, we will back up and go up to the Hills tank or the Cane Circle tank, as a lot of us know it. That tank will actually be cut down and go back up another 40 feet to balance the new height of this. Part of this process that we're about to enter into in the next 18 months to 24 months is to raise water pressure in cross gates. There are many areas in the back side of cross gates, Summit Ridge, uh, Ridge Road, many other places that have you know about 25 psi static pressure on the water main in front of the house you get everybody taking a shower at the same time or you have a water problem that you got to address you lose water pressure so what we want to do is that's going to increase water pressure about 50 percent in a lot of places the back side of cross gates and up Burnham road a huge benefit for everybody on this side of town so those upgrades are not 10 and 15 year upgrades that you're looking at we're looking at lifetime upgrades most of us standing here all of that infrastructure is going to be there when we're all gone. Uh, this control panel that controls the two wells they were explaining out there. Um, it all runs through a PLC. Um, it comes in. You have your soft start for your new well that they implemented and for the old, old late bin well. Um, we combine them both into one cabinet off of one PLC. They are able to send data points up to IQ Web SCADA so they can get on online and look at alarms, look at set points, um, change, change a lot of different settings that you can also do from here on the HMI, just you know, at the comfort of your desk. So you can come here on the HMI and do, you have a screen for each well, Lake Bend 1, which is the old, old existing well and Lake Bend 2, which is the new new well. Um, you can select hand or auto for both wells as far as the pumps and the chemical. And so the coolest function is you know being able to, I think, is control it all from uh, IQ SCADA without having to come on site, essentially.